Hey, what's going on, everybody? Scott Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're back. We're playing some Nin Nantucket. That's not right, Nantucket. Um, I was being serenaded. I'm running out of water. I don't think this is a wise idea. I was hoping we'd see this ship by now. What if we headed this way? I think we're going to have to. Because we've got... 65 water. But plenty of food. Not so much grog. But the problem is we're trying to get up to Honolulu. Um, because we're looking for a ship. Oh god. Okay, so we made it here. Oh, we uncovered it. Large quantities of whales. New hunting area. We haven't uncovered this one. This is what we're trying to do. So we need to enter the harbour here and we need to buy some more food and some drink and stuff. Okay, we won't worry about crew just now, but we will worry about this. I think we're going to buy quite a lot. Just to, just to see us through. Because I'm worried about getting to... Because to, now we're going to have to do the rest of the journey on the way back to see if we come across there. Um come across their ship because we need to do this journey shark encounter good luck everybody shark out this way sharks out this way are extra scary um, last used I think that's good here we go great white shark 35 health and a newborn He's just protecting his baby nice we'll have some of that Okay, he's, he has dived. Divin. Dove. Okay. Oh, that is not what we wanted. Okay. No damage, no nothing. We're both getting hit here. And this one could hurt. By minus nine. Ouch. Alan, please don't get stunned anymore. God, Mark is down to, to 9 health. Okay, we're still getting damage over here, which is good. Alan, we need damage. Thank you. Okay, that's good. That's good. We managed to deal with him. Okay. So he's just a little baby shark over here to deal with now. We did it. We'll let you do it, Scott Dog. Nice. You can kill the little baby shark. Well done you, what a man. Right, let's take all this, let's close this, and let's head up here. Off we go. Not sure what that bell is. Okay, you allow your men to rest in the forecastle for a few days because he's not feeling well. He's become lazy. Oh, Leroy. Leroy, Leroy, Leroy. Um, we should probably look at this, actually. Mark, you took your, your ass kicking, didn't you? No, I think that's probably the right way. Oh, do you see that? See that little picture there? Injuries have been healed. And uncover another couple of missions here. How are we doing food wise? We've got loads. Okay. There's some crew we could potentially get. But let's not. Um, what was this I just saw here? I'm sure there was a picture of someone right beside us. What's this? What is this? Well, walking across Honolulu's main square, you notice a knot of people near the barrack. An officer looks like he's uncovering a commemorative plaque placed on the wall of a building while a band plays some Hawaiian traditional songs. The people burst into a storm of applause when the plaque is finally uncovered. Simon Metcalf, it reads, you are confused. your confused face draws attention from a local man. The plot thickens. You do not know Simon Metcalf? You shake your head. He was an important military advisor for... King Kamahimia. <laughs> ah, Metcalf. 
was so beloved by the king he gifted him his father's spear, uh, which Kahekili the second defeat of the other island war chief unified our nation's rule. Where is the spear now? Fortunately, Metacarta's descendants left Honolulu to return to America and they took the spear with them. It's a shame. You thank the man f and walk away knowing that you want to hunt the whales with the king's spear. Okay. So it looks like we're, we're now going to try and hunt whales. Okay, so let's head down here. 60 days it's going to take. We look out spots trouble in the distance. Approaching the ship, it looks like the it's the one you're looking for. It's rapidly sinking and the water's floods in from a big hole. Let's board the ship and save as many valuables as you can. Let's board. look for survivors. Let's do that. They were killed by something, drowned or escaped. We could not find a single crew member. Okay. Well, let's head back here for now. Okay, today's one of your men's birthday. How much grog have we got? Loads. We can do this. Okay. During the past few days, you've noticed the craftsman assigned to the ship's maintenance is lazy and not doing his job well. He just cares if there are leaks, but uh, but he does nothing to prevent them. Scold him publicly. Uh, minus five morale. Lazy trait removed. So he could lose, what, 10 morale? Is that what we're saying? Okay, so there's a 50% chance that we'll do this. Okay, so it looks like we did it. Didn't have to scold anybody. We've been quite lucky with this stuff, I have to say. Uh, you look how spot ships in trouble in the distance. Approaching ship, it looks like they're the one you were looking for. It's rapidly sinking as water floods in. Let's look for survivors. Let's find a lifeboat with a crew. We'll bring them to safety. Okay. Nice. Does that mean I can head back here? I think that means I can head back here and hand in a thing or down here. So let's at least think about it and see what we've got. I don't know where I got the mission from. But enter the harbour. Let's... No money for anything, but let's head here. Jobs. Get reward. Lovely. Thank you. Okay. How are we doing for food and stuff? Okay, we can okay this. Um, sail away. We want to go down to this place down the, the south here, um, I think, to see if there's any thing that we can hand in here. It's calm and slow night. Your ship held her path, and you sit at your desk filling out the ship's log under the dull red light of an oil lamp. The wood in one of your cabins keeps creaking as if there is whispering the water secret. Suddenly, a hand slightly knocks on your door. Who goes there? Walk to the door and open it. Your man stands at the door holding his hat in his hand. Captain, I'm sorry to disturb you, but I have some information for you. It's about Rachel. Was that the ship that you saved after the prequod sunk? What happens to Rachel? Rachel, just hearing the name spoken aloud makes your heart knock in your chest. It happened during our last stop on dry land. We were in the inn and we ended up drinking with the sailors. He stops for a second, trying to remember the words he probably rehearsed before knocking on your door. Well, the Rachel is missing, Captain. She left Nantucket and set sail for Honolulu to deliver some goods, but she never got there. We thought you might want to know. Let's give him some gold. Okay, let's head down here, though. Let's head down here and do our thing. And then we'll sail across. We've still got this bit of ocean and the Rachel could be there. Um, things are running smoothly on a ship and thanks to the least ship skills, your crew is happy and satisfied. Everyone seems interested in doing their part. One of your men is really greedy. even decides to do his part by sharing much more with his shipmates. Good for him. Well done, Leroy. Nice. Leroy is becoming a real man. That's all I'm saying. Right. got so many quests. Okay, enter the harbour. Have we got any quests that we can hand in here? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Food and stuff. We look good for everything. So we, we could sail that straight and see if we can find the Rachel again. 
which I'm half tempted to do. So we'd go here and then here. Like that. Let's do it. Oh god, we're sailing through this thing. Perilous waters. Okay. So we're sailing up and then we're going to sail down. And then we're going to go here. Just because we might find the Rachel in this. I mean, it could be in this straight here, but... We'll see what we find for the rest of this journey. Okay. I'm making up some time again, which is good. So what have we got? We've got 138 days left. We've got 107 days left. This is fine. And then we'll head round here. To this port. Gotta go past the pirates again. Okay. Ship ahoy! Your lookout yells, diverting your attention from your task. You walk to the main deck, immediately gazing upon your lookout. He leans out of the crow's nest, checking for your presence. He then stretches his arm out, pointing... Pointing larboard? Pass me the spyglass. Scan the horizon with your spyglass. The Rachel stands out against the horizon, half sunk the foremost. The foremast moves in the ocean's murky, mercy, murky waves. Waving its sail like a white flag, sharks indiscriminately tear pieces off the boards. The corpses floating near the ship while a few survivors try and fight them back. We've only got five food. Let's try and fight them. Let's try and do it. Here we go. Stormy weather doesn't sound good. And I get the feeling there will be a lot of... I get the feeling there will be a lot of sharks. Newborn, adult, young. Okay. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. But they are all attacking straight off the bat. God damn it. Let's do some damage to this one. We didn't kill it, which is a pain. We probably should have taken out one of the others. Okay, Alan is bleeding. Mark is bleeding. Oh god, Mark is taking a beating. Mark is really taking a beating with that. Okay. Good work, Mark. Okay, so what could we do? We could kill this one. And we could stun... We could kill that one, but that one's not going to attack us, so... I guess we'll go over here. Deal that damage there. Now we're only being hit by the one. Thankfully it went on Alan. He's got the most hit points. Okay. For our Mark, taking some more damage. Random character gets 20 damage. Oh, thank God for that. Phew. Jesus. So we killed this one. We've just got this one who is going to hit us. And it hits Mark. Oh, God. Mark is going to die unless we kill this one this turn. Science dice won't have any effect. Oh, shit. What? What? Mark is dying. Jesus. Got to do it. I've got to kill this one. And see if we can take out any others. Resist for eight rounds. Mark, I'm sorry, mate. Jesus. I didn't realise this was going on for eight rounds. This is insane. So really I should have been just looking to negate damage and let these ones do whatever they want to do. Okay. Hang on in there. Hang on in there, mate. Okay. So this is round five. Oh, God. Oh, man, we need to kill that one quickly. And if we can hold out for this. 
So at least we got rid of the 100% bleed damage, but we're still bleeding anyway. Round six. Ouch. Oh god. We're down to ten. Their special abilities are disabled. That's that's a bit of a relief. Okay, we managed to stop one of their attacks. Still going to take one. Oh god, we're down to six. This is bad. This is really bad. If we get attacked, I think we're dead. Oh man. I think we're about to die. Okay, so at least he's, he's dead. But this could be the end of it. The day is ours. Okay, thank God for that. Oh my God. Buried at sea. Okay, let's take all of this. Close this. So the battle of General Rush is dissolved, surrounded by the shark carcasses and human corpses. You feel gutted. You look around desperately looking for any signs of life. You know, it's a man in the distance. We're already fly fighting to stay afloat. Your men recover the Rachel Sailor from the sea, bringing him aboard your ship. One of your men brings a sole survivor to you, covered in a blanket. He's a young man, pale as a ghost, shaking because of the cold and the shock seeing his mates chewed by deadly jaws. You order your men to leave him alone with you. Sit down, kid. What's your name? Man takes a seat in front of you. Gabriel, sir, I was Rachel's lookout when the explosion tore our hold apart. His voice becomes feeble as he tries to hide his emotions. What explosion? Uh, trying to focus on his tail, not his emotions. I don't know, sir. I think uh, a barrel of powder exploded. By the time we realised what was happening, the ship was already sunk and the sharks started coming, attracted by the corpses of those killed by the explosion. We tried to, s to survive as long as we could. I was glad you arrived at the time to save us, to save me. So everybody is dead, including Captain Gardner? Gabriel looks confused. Yes, sir. All my crew members are dead. The luckiest ones were killed by the explosion, but Gardner, well, he left the Rachel months ago to chase Moby Dick and avenge his son's death. I have heard people saying he was heading to Africa with a crew of cut with a crew of cutthroats. Would you join my crew? There were smiles and see your compassion that you trust him. So I'd be honoured to join your crew and repay my debt. Okay. Gabriel. We've got Gabriel. He's a sailor, but... Oh, look at this! I felt guilty for Rachel's destiny. As if it got rotten by my cursed presence on board. Maybe Ahab was just looking for more souls to rear his throne in hell. Quest completed. Find the Rachel. Okay. The blueprint... Um, is now available, I think. Instead of crafting to fix the ship, the character's working actually is crafting or giving the captain crafting value free. Oh, we got okay. So we want to head here as quickly as we can, really. Um, we want to head here as quickly as we can, really. Let's go. Um, how are we doing for food and stuff? We've not got a great deal of water. We should be fine. So we've got a new crew member, but also we've got everybody else dying. Um, okay. So now we've got another sailor from the looks of things. He's grateful. We don't have a first aider, which I guess isn't the end of the world. Okay, heals and stuff going on. There is no news that we want. Uh, we want to sell all of this stuff. Okay. Oops. Get to about 100. Okay, everything else we're good with. We're just going to sail to Nantucket and then we'll call it the end of the episode. But we'll, we've got to sail past these pirates. We've got some things to do. But we're just going to sail up here to Nantucket. 39 days. Now the pirates seem to have gone, actually. 
Many men pleased to, by your stellar example decides to follow your lead and become a better man and sailor. I will teach you how to navigate and the life and adventures. I will teach you the strong trait. There you go. Okay. Yeah, so it's interesting that we've only got enough room for three people. And I'm the sailor and Gabriel is the sailor. So it means we're losing the scientist if we do it this way. But that might not be the worst the worst thing in the world. Level up. Okay. So we could start learning science. So look, we can get another skill point over here. Evasive maneuver, which might not be... Character selling combat, evasive maneuver while fighting a whirlwind removes an, a target enemy card. I think that one is pretty good. However, they are always going to be fighting us, so... We went for this one. So we could try and start getting some more science in us, maybe. But I don't know if that's the way to go. Maybe we'll go with, with hunting again and we'll get one of these traits. Okay. Okay, good. Let's carry on sailing. Question is, should we go up here first? And I think the answer is possibly yes. We'll head here. We'll, we'll trade in whatever we've got and then we'll head over here. Because we might have some missions from here. I don't know. I'm not sure where we've got all the missions. I need to take check of all that stuff. But it makes sense for us to hand in what we can. Okay, so we sailed and traded in that one. And then we'll head up to the next one. See if there's any missions here. And then we've got missions up here as well, I think. How do we see what missions we've got? Return to Nantucket. Return to Nantucket. Return to Peterhead. And then we've got two new whaling areas, which I think we can kind of do whenever we want, really. Um, so if we go to the paper, get a reward here, and we can get our reward here. Nice. Um, that is pretty good, I think, by all accounts. We're up to 4,852 gold. That is pretty impressive. And we've got loads of prestige. So although you're grateful, we could trade you in for a better sailor or a better scientist. Oh, that is huge. That is absolutely huge. I think we're going to have to, you know. Gabriella, it's been fun, but I think we're going to fire you and hire you. Because this is massive. What about you? Okay, I think we're good here. And I think we're going to call it the end of the episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button. Follow us on Twitter at Scott Gaming. See you again soon. Thank you.